my big break this evening. He is a self-proclaimed social media guru. He says he believes in speaking his mind and telling the truth like it is. It is this that has made him cross paths with many, but that has not deterred him from doing what he does best. Now, he's not everyone's cup of tea, and many love to hate him. Controversial blogger Robert Alai tonight tells us about his big break. I was born in Kisumu, grew up in the village, uh, Ahero Onjiko. Uh, I then came to college in Nairobi. On blogging, I think I started, uh, I started blogging around 2005, 2006, just speaking my mind from the internet, on the internet, through the internet, uh, saying what I believe is right. Um, though sometimes people take it badly, but I believe that uh, that's where I started, around 2005, 2006, while still working outside the country. Some of the issues we fought for, the Nancy Baraza issue, you know, the, the Kenyans for Kenya, very rarely we get the accolades, but uh, the, our inputs, especially on, on complementing the efforts of the mainstream media, it has been it, it has been it, it has been a big big journey for us. But uh, I think also that uh, with the penetration of now the internet and the mobile telephone, you now people get to hear us more, and that's when people started hearing more of Robert Alai. But most of the people, the working class, knew me as far back as 2007. The funny thing is that even people who, who get to criticize me mostly on social media, when they meet me, they, they have a very different perspective because they, they meet a different person which I'm not arrogant, I'm not uh, controversial, I'm not, I'm just a Kenyan, simple Kenyan, just interested in the truth and uh, that's what people get to understand. Most of the people who are my biggest critics, when they meet me and understand me, they get to like me more. My big break was when I, I, I was reporting about the Westgate incident in, in, in September this year and uh, various media outlets got to recognize me, the, the, the Sky News, the, the, the BBC, you know, the, the Epoch Times in, in, in America, the Israeli radio stations, the South African radio stations, the Canadians, the Australians, a lot of media houses get, got to recognize my efforts and, uh, and also I, I got big accolades for that. I think it was it was uh, that one was kind of reassuring because bef before that I used to get a lot of negative press on, on maybe what people didn't understand or understood wrongly about me. So I think I think that's that was my big break.